Hello, welcome to Red Ted Art. First things first, subscribe to the channel. Now, today we're going to show you how to make this super cute little paracord dolly. Um, it's really nice as a keyring or as a zipper pull. Um, you don't have to use paracords actually, you can use just any sort of string because actually this is a macrame technique. Um, we've also, check out this version up here, got the same one again but without the bead. So it depends on what you've got at home. If you don't have a bead at home, make the other one. If you do have a bead at home, make this one or just whatever you fancy. What you'll need is, is some string and some paracord, a ruler, some scissors and this for sealing the paracord. Now remember, if you're younger, only do this with an adult. Uh, if you're older, go ahead, do what you like. Right, so first things first. Oh, and you need a little DIY metal pin. So you need to great take your DIY metal pin pull it through and that way you can get the, the string through the bead otherwise it's a bit tricky so pull it off and make sure you've got it long enough as this is just normal garden string I'm just gonna make it really long and then adjust it later you know there's no waste there because I won't need it you know it's, it's not expensive make a little knot and then push it up like that here we go so now you're ready I'll just cut this off so it doesn't get in my way. Put this away. And now you take your uh, paracord. Now to make one this size, I used approximately 16 inches. So I'm measuring eight and then using that as the middle. So that when you then fold it over, it's 16 inches, inches, not centimeters. Now you're gonna work backwards so put your center in the middle this is your basic cobra stick um macrame that even if you're doing your basic bracelet you'll have learned how to do this already so it's a really easy basic macrame or paracord knot so you fold this one so i'm going to do it really neat so you can see so i'm holding that with my finger because i want that in the middle fold this one over like that so you fold it over then take this one uh, over as well and then under both your string and it's a bit easier if you're doing it it's just that I'm trying to make it really visible for you to see and that's your first knot so as you can see there's a little line here that's so you know which side to start on so the lines here so I'm going to start over putting that over like that and I'm going to put this one over, tuck it under and pull it through. Like that. Now again, you've got the line here, which means you have to cross it over, put this over like that, so it's over, and then push it under all of it and through on the opposite side. Right, there we go. I'm going to do one more, see how we're going. Might do two more actually. And then you've got the side there. Pull it over, push it through. And there you have, already you can see your little line. Now I'm going to just give it a little tug so it's right at the top because I think that looks nice. I'm going to tighten it like that. Now I'm going to Make a knot at one end, get sort of the arm the length you like, not the other end. I always like to cut as late as possible just in case you decide to use less. There we go, not that side. Here we go, and now I can cut. Yay! And then you need to um, sort of seal your paracord and that's where you need a grown-up to help you if you're younger obviously if you're older you get to do what you want singe it just a little bit let it melt you can always press it down on your lighter a bit like that. be careful it is hot singe it like that just to seal it and then the last step if you want you could add two little beads here it's up to you I quite like it without. And you've got a 
little foot and another little foot. Here we go. And you know what I've forgotten? I've forgotten to bring a pen. So I can't show you how to then draw a little face. But to be honest, I reckon you can work that one out for yourself. Aren't they adorable? In fact, I think they look quite sweet without a face too. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Do come back for more. Don't forget to subscribe and see you here again soon.